There's an amazing story of a judoka named Saeed Mulai. He's an Iranian who just won the silver medal at the Olympics and he dedicated it to Israel. Two years ago, he competed on behalf of Iran. He was supposed to compete against an Israeli. Iran said, you're not competing, and forced him to withdraw. He was discontent, left Iran for Mongolia, and is now representing Mongolia, and he decided to dedicate the new medal to Israel. Oh, big O. Where does he have the courage from? I don't know. Way to go. This is a real man. A real man, but is he not afraid? His family, the Iranians can reach him anywhere, for sure. On the other hand, I don't think that they'll do it. To the contrary, they now need to protect him. Why? Because if someone will harm him, everyone will say it was them. Right. What does he feel on the inside? What gives him the strength to go against everyone? I don't know. But maybe he's simply a pure athlete. Meaning what? That he loves sports. And he wants for everything to work only according to the laws of sports. He doesn't want to accept any limitations, but the only thing taken into account is who wins the fight. Do you think that pure sports, as you call it, can help? help the bad relations between countries? For sure, I'm sure of it. I'm sure that this way each of the athletes is willing to open their heart. They enjoy being able to maybe break another limit of the human ability, as if they're competing against God, against nature, that God limits us inside this body, and we rise above these limitations. There's a tremendous pleasure in it. Egoistic, of course, but tremendous. When they stand at the Olympics getting their medals, you have the gold, silver, bronze. What are these three supposed to feel toward each other after the competition's over? Love. We fought against the boundaries that the Creator set for man. And we've broadened these boundaries, proud that we've lifted man above his own ability.